find out, okay, where the, do these people go? And they, they may not necessarily be the people that come to the exhibits or trade shows or, or this, that, and other. You know, a lot of, some of these people are on fixed income. A lot of retirees got plenty of money. I've seen both, so. One year uh, we did, um, I was invited to a Home Depot headquarters and they uh, they had, um, in our, our, I don't even know what they would call it, but a whole bunch of artists brought their artwork and this main hall inside a Home Depot headquarters was filled with art and artists. And um, and I, I think I, I was invited by another artist to come and bring some stuff. You know, and they have, you have to keep your eye open for things like that. And that's why it's important to stay up on the social media and find out and look for things. Subscribe to newsletters because opportunities like that come around and uh, you don't know who's going to look at your artwork and there'll be executives walking through that hallway who's who uh, who uh, or uh, curators whose job is to fill those buildings with artwork and they might see your stuff you know the whole point is that to to be a, um, an artist today you have to tap into whatever resources you have available because the day of the starving artist uh, should not exist anymore in this day and age it should not be you know you really have to learn how to filter through um, this social media stuff and stuff that you're looking through and, and how to read between the lines, you know. Um, it, and even if, you know, say for instance, like Dan's example, it, it may have been a, a, a thing for Home Depot and it may have not even been uh, related to artists, but at the same time, if you think it's a, it's a good venue, take 10 minutes to write an email, a quick proposal, or you should already have a, a proposal template just tailor it to that specific event because the event holders they may not have even thought about okay well let's have some artwork we're having a mm -hmm. uh, I don't know a Christmas function every year that we have for for AT&T or Georgia Pacific downtown hey write a proposal have some artwork as part of their uh, as part of their atmosphere I mean you have to get creative and don't necessarily concentrate on looking for things specifically for artists that's where, that's where those templates and those proposals that you already have written down. So hey, I can send out a, a quick tailored email in, in five minutes, no matter who it is or, or what situation, because I already have a basic, you know, uh, verbiage on, on that. So set those things up um, for yourself, and, uh, you know, and, and that's how you maximize and use your time efficiently. You know. Go ahead. What you going to say? Oh, I just wanted to make a comment about um, some people to reach out to is um, attorneys, mm -hmm. where some of are in the building. I know for the last 13 years as a legal, I work as a legal assistant, and in all the law firms I worked at, I worked at, they have art on their walls. Mm -hmm. They love art, and in some of the buildings, like in Atlantic Station, the Bell South Building, the other building I can't think of the name, they have like art shows, like quarterly, and sometimes you can do all you have to do is call management and ask them. Big homes, you know, whatever, yeah. walls. Uh, uh, what do you call them? Interior designers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's they, a, they have a lot of clients who might be interested. I mean, I've heard of this, but I never thought of it until I started working with them. And it's like, you know, they have the money to spend to buy your art. They have the What's the what? For um, get it done. Get it. Go ahead, John. Thank you. 
And in that particular situation, if, if you know, you have to look at it as as market. Even though you're donating a piece of artwork, um, you know, whatever price it may be, you may not get a cut off of it, but you can still write off the value of that artwork at the end of the year on your taxes. And if so you make you it to these events, you need to have you a stack of cards, stack of business cards, and you got to work that room. Let people know, hey. This piece of artwork here, you know, you like it. Anyone who comes up to your, your artwork and looks at it, start a little conversation <laughs> with it. You know, and you don't have to ne let them know right off the bat that you're the artist. But after the conversation, you know, just, just you know, go with the flow. But make sure they get a business card. You know, it's very important that you let them know that you're the artist. Because they, you know, like, like you kind of stretch on about the information that you put on Facebook about the artwork. Exactly, and that's what I was I was saying with um, you know when you post your artwork, tell the story behind it, you know, or at least tell part of it. If you want to read more, go to my website. You know, the whole point is to drive people to your website or to wherever you you sell your your work. Um, it's uh, eight o'clock. We're gonna um, wind it down. If anybody has any last comment or question, go ahead. Georgia Lawyers for the Arts. Okay. And, uh, well, and on that note, uh, next month we will have an attorney available for your law questions. And she was there last month at Binders, and we got to talk to her. Her name is Deborah Gonzalez, and uh, she will be there again next month on the third Monday. And we will be there. Align yourself with any good cause, and uh, you won't lose. Yeah. Yeah. Just start with the good causes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good causes. And start donating art. Uh, get yourself in there and uh, make it happen. I want to thank everybody for coming out. I want to thank Hypopotamus. I want to thank Lucom. I want to thank our art star rep, Clever Dave. The Black Book Conversations. Um, and uh, please post all these, all this information that you're sharing with us. Post it on the page. 
either on the black book page or on the event page for the tonight and i will grab it and i'll put it on the website so check the website for more resources and if you're on facebook please go to the art star page and and like it uh, and like the page because almost daily i post anything from opportunities to you know things like we talked about tonight and uh, I put out a newsletter every Wednesday where I put out some exclusive in information for my subscribers. But um, go to the, uh, the, the Black Book Conversations Facebook page and the R Star uh, Facebook page, and we, we're constantly posting ideas, um, exhibition opportunities, that, that thing. So those, those are two very good resources that you can go to on a, on a weekly basis to find out some good, good info. All right, thank you very much. Thank yeah, you. grab a card. Artists left their cars up there, so grab one. <laughs>